I swear, this Pride Month, many people in the Academy can't catch a break. Between Ron DeSantis signing that bill that banned people who are trans, who were born as a man but now identify as a girl, uh, they can't uh, participate in uh, the women's sports down in Florida. You had what happened at that bar in Nelly's where that young lady was dragged down the stairs by her hair. Me, excuse me, having to go in on Preston Mitchum and, and his goofy ass. And now this story right here. Now, Seji Hito and a few other people have actually covered this story already. And this is a story that's coming out of it's called a Stonewall Pride Parade, where you had this guy right here who they have in cuffs who was in a truck and he drove through and hit two people and one person was killed at this parade now if you look at his shirt it has it has some rainbow letters on the back that's because this man is in the academy himself he's actually a part of this chorus that i think was supposed to be performing at this event but what i'm noticing is that they have not one deemed this as a hate crime and they probably won't because he's in the academy himself so they probably going to give him cover on that but they also have deemed this as an quote unquote accident. I'm like, how does an accident happen where you hit two people or three people and one dies? That's, in my opinion, not an accident. And it's broad daylight. You, and it's a parade. You know, people are out there in a parade. People are mainly on their feet. But one thing Seiji also pointed out in his video is they did not mention the guy's name. Which doesn't surprise me at all. But we do know he is palm colored. Like we can clearly see that by the back of his head or by the side profile. We don't know his name. We don't even have a mugshot. Like when I typed this in, I had to type in Pride Parade Run Truck, just like little keywords. And this picture came up. Not a mugshot, not a name. And this happened a couple days ago. But you know how that goes. So I'm going to go ahead and read this article. And this is coming out of Florida. Now, what's interesting is that what started black, not black people, what started the uh, academy to getting Pride Month was that shooting that happened at that nightclub that happened that was in Florida where you had that guy just go up in there and he shot that club up. And it happened in June. And that's what started Pride Month because it happened in this month. Again, and it wasn't even a black person that did it, just like it wasn't a black person that did this. But they'll have you to believe that it's black people that are the most, quote unquote, homophobic. One man was killed and another injured when they were run over by a pickup truck as the Stonewall Pride Parade in Wilton Manors was just getting started Saturday night. The white pickup truck was lined up with other floats when it accelerated and ran over two men standing by to take part in the parade around 7 p.m. on Wilton Drive near 16th Street as local 10 news reporter Christian De La Rosa witnessed. Now, here's the thing. When you're driving in a parade, you're only supposed to go a certain speed and it's a very slow speed. And you drove this truck and revved up your engine. Why? Did you fall asleep at the wheel? Did you have a little bit too much to drink the night before the pregame for the next day? Like you wasn't like you couldn't control the, your foot on the pedal. Police took the man who was driving the truck into custody and were questioning him. He was wearing a Fort Lauderdale gay men's chorus T-shirt. Justin Knight, the chorus president, said through a spokesman that chorus members were the ones injured and that the driver was part of the chorus family. Our thoughts and prayers are, the, are with those affected by the tragic accident that occurred when the Stonewall property was just getting started. Knight said in a statement, our fellow chorus members were those injured and the driver was also a part of the chorus family. To my knowledge, this was not an attack on the academy. We anticipate more details to follow and ask for the community's love and support. See how quickly they came out and said they don't believe it was this and they don't believe it was that and it was an accident? Because look, he has two things on his side. One, the complexion for protection. And two, he's in the academy. And he was a part of the festivities. And I'm going to read this other article right here that was posted on June 20th. It says, authorities say the incident in which two pedestrians were hit by a truck at a proper rate near Miami Saturday, leaving one dead and the other injured, was a tragic accident and not an intentional act. So, I'm thinking it was three people that was hit, but one was killed, but it was actually two people hit, one died and one lived. So, that's my correction. 
The 77-year-old driver of the truck accelerated unexpectedly before the parade began in Wilton Manor's Fort Lauderdale Police said in a news release Sunday. The driver was participating in the parade but had ailments that prevented him from walking, the release said. He had been selected to drive as the lead vehicle. Well, if he had ailments walking, then why the hell did they select him to drive? He should have just been a passenger. Like, hello? I mean, like, common sense. Police said the man's vehicle started to move forward, then accelerated, striking two people before driving through lanes of traffic and crashing into the fence of a business. The pedestrians, both men, were taken to Broward Health Medical Center, where one of them died. The driver remained on the scene and cooperated with investigators. Police conducted a DUI investigation on the driver and found no signs of impairment. The driver and the pedestrians are all members of the Fort Lauderdale Gay Men's Chorus. The release said no arrests have been made and police are not releasing the names of those involved as the investigation continues. In a statement issued Sunday, Fort Lauderdale Mayor Dean Trantels said the facts pointed to the incident being an accident rather than a planned attack on the community as he had initially believed. I was an eyewitness to the hor horrifying event. It terrorized me and all around me. I reported what I saw to law enforcement and had strong concerns about what transpired. Concerns for the safety of my community, I feared it could be intentional based on what I saw from mere feet away. Law enforcement took what happened obvious to me and others nearby and investigated further as it is their job. As the facts continue to be pieced together, a picture is emerging of an accident in which a truck careened out of control. As a result, one man died, two others were injured, and the lives of two members of Congress were at risk. My heart breaks for all impacted by this tragedy. The pedestrians were hit near a vehicle in which U.S. Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz was riding. She tweeted Saturday, I'm deeply shaken and devastated that a life was lost. The Fort Lauderdale Police Department and the Federal Bureau of Investigation collaborate in investigating this incident with the goal of understanding the totality of the circumstances and to identify if this act was an accident or an intentional act. Today we know yesterday's incident was a tragic accident and not a criminal act directed at anyone. They want to know what's so funny. They came out immediately and said this was an accident before they even determined that it was an accident because they could not afford to have this be an intentional act by someone who's already in the academy. They could not afford that, especially during not only their Pride Month, but during a Pride Parade. So they had to chalk this up to an accident. So this guy right here is probably going to be let go. But my thing is, if he had an ailment, why was he driving? If he wasn't able to walk, then why was he driving? Apparently, something happened with his foot or his leg that maybe that forced him to slam on the, that accelerator and hit those people, which now they say it has it is three people. Like it seems like one saying one thing and one saying another. Look, all we know is this: people were injured and someone died. We that those are the facts. And he, this guy right here was the one that was behind the wheel of the vehicle. Now, I wonder if this was a black person who did, would they been quick to say that it was an accident? That's what I'd like to know. And I really haven't heard that much from the Academy speak about this. I'm like, if this was an accident, like they said it was, then why aren't y'all coming out to speak about it? Oh, because y'all would probably, you know, if it was somebody else who was outside of the Academy, y'all can't go with the narrative that it was a homophobic or a hate crime type of attack. Because that'll probably be the only time they'll say something. But when what happened at that Nelly's bar, oh, they came out in full force and said something. And Preston Mitchum, what we had to get into his. Listen. All I'm saying is this. Even in situations like this, they're still protected. And he's protected times two. Maybe times three because he's an elderly man. He's 77. Why were you driving? Why did they have him drive? If they knew he couldn't walk, why would you have him drive? So I think the people that was over that should have some blame in it as well. But y'all let me know what y'all think.